Hey guys, Dev here, and we got pre-patch coming in just a couple of hours, and I'm getting a lot of questions about how you tank on a Paladin. Um, I realize I haven't actually covered that on the channel yet, so let's have a quick chat. So first things first, level 16, you're gonna get Righteous Fury. Righteous Fury is your threat modifier. Um, it's gonna increase your holy, your threat generated by holy attacks. Um, you basically want to have this up 100% of the time. I'd also recommend getting a week or to let you know when it's not up, because if this falls off, you're gonna have a really bad time. The next thing you're going to have at this level is going to be Retora. This is your only way to generate any sort of AoE threat, level 16. Also going to have Hammer of Justice, which is going to be a stun for 3 seconds. And you're going to have Blessing of Protection. So Blessing of Protection is that famous Paladin ability that everybody knows. You put it on a friendly target, it makes them immune. They can't do any uh, damage while they're in that Blessing of Protection. And it also removes them from the threat table. So... I would highly recommend the first thing you do before you even start tanking is going into your key bindings, going to your target markers, and binding skull and X to something that's easy to reach. For me, that's the two side buttons on my mouse. Um, it's what I've always done. And you can use that to mark um, targets. You can also use it to mark targets on the fly. So if something else comes in, you know that's a priority target and it needs to die. You can quickly target it and remark that without trying to fiddle around, right clicks, set target markers. Okay, so once you've marked your skull and your X up, right before the pull at level 16, so this is what my bar is simulating. The abilities here, just ignore. I can't cover it with my hand on the screen, obviously, but ignore the bottom of the screen. We're just looking at where the mouse is here. So get Seal of Righteousness up. As you move in, you want to judge onto the skull target, hit Seal of Righteousness again, and then swing onto X. That's going to give you some threat on both targets. Once you've swung onto X, go back onto skull, you can judge it again, get SOR up again, so you have to refresh this after every time you judge, swing onto cross. And you need to get yourself into not just a pattern, but also need to be monitoring, monitoring your threat meter to see how your threat compares to the rest of the group. Um, if you've got something that's cleaving heavily onto cross or AoEing, you need to uh, A, let them know that you don't have great AoE threat early on, and just check the threat meter, see what needs what needs some attention. A great add-on that I'd recommend would be Plater. Um, I've been using that on the beta and it is absolutely excellent. So what happens is the nameplates actually change color as you lose threat. I'm sure there's a bunch more add-ons out there that can also do that, but Plate is what I'm going to be using um, from basically tomorrow in the pre-patch. Uh, get yourself a good threat meter. Uh, I just use Tiny Threat, which is part of Details, and put it somewhere that's really easy to see. Um, the reason why it's here is because it's in my eye line, so it's basically in my peripheral vision. I don't need to you know, look at the bottom of the screen or anything. I like to have everything that I need to see in the center of my screen. Um, so at level 16, it's actually going to be the hardest time that you're going to have tanking. Um, so if we mark up a three pull here, so say we've got Skull, X, and Unmarked. Um, we're going to judge onto that, that skull again as we go in. We're going to get Seal of Righteousness up. We're going to swing onto, onto Cross. And then we're going to go for the unmarked one as well. They were all in the same thing. Once that's done, back onto Skull and get that judgment and reapplication of Seal of Righteousness up. Okay, so I'm just going to reset these mobs really quickly. And then we're going to talk about what comes after level 16. So... At level 18, you're going to get Spiritual Attunement, which is going to start giving you mana back when you're healed, which is a fantastic talent. And one of the things that is uh, really, really going to be excellent about um, about TBC. At level 20, you're going to unlock Rank 1 Concentration. Consecration. So at this point, your job as a tank gets so much easier. So once this fire um, elemental lives... At this point, basically, all you need to do to hold decent threat is run in, assuming that your DPS are following your kill order. Run in, judging onto Skull. Seal of Righteousness back up. Consecration on the floor as soon as you can. Um, if your DPS are really trigger happy, get Const down before you even reapply Seal of Righteousness. Um, especially if you're playing with AoE specs. If you're playing with more single target threats, it's it's not, not too much of an issue. But you, that's something that you'll need to choose. Um... The next thing I want to talk about quickly is is kill orders, so how you mark things. Um, let's just get this out of the way first really quickly. Can we kill this without pulling? No, cool. Okay, something else has come in and you still got cross up. So 
depending on the health of the thing that you're fighting, let's just use this as a learning opportunity. So you need to make a decision as a tank. So you've got this elemental that's probably doing elemental damage that your armor is not helping with. You've got a mage here and you've got a, a, a cross. So if the cross is nearly dead, remark it to skull and then remark the thing that you want to die next as X. That's going to let the DPS know your intention and where you're putting your threat so people aren't pulling off you. And that's a, that's a huge thing, right? If you're sitting in Discord, it's obviously a little bit easier if you're playing with randoms. Um, using those target markers basically as indicators in a car of like what you intend to do, um, what you want to happen. And if you have DPS that follow them, it's an absolute joy to tank uh, in those kind of situations. Um, I'll just quickly kill this um, this mage real quickly and then we'll talk about, uh, talk about Paul. Okay, excellent. So... Hypothetically, this is going to be our pull. We've got an elemental, we've got a mage, and we've got a, um, a soldier here. So I would mark this the elemental first. So he's going to do elemental damage, which is going to be ignored by our armor. The mage, unless this is a healer, that would probably be cross for me. And then the melee mob is the thing you want to mark last. So we're assuming you don't have a, a third marker, right? So I would always leave the, the melee marker as the last... Uh, the melee mob as the last kill target with the uh, magic users first. So at this point, you can just focus your threat into the skull target and trust cons that it's going to generate enough threat. If you need to do a quick tab round, check your threat meter and see if anybody's getting close to you. If you see a target that doesn't have um, a big lead, make sure you just throw a judgment into it or a couple white swings with seal of righteousness up. And that will really help you um, secure that, that early threat at early levels. Um, the other things uh, you can do, you can use um, Hammer of Justice as an interrupt, which is uh, pretty basic, but something to think about. It doesn't need to just be staved as a stun. Um, if you stun a mob when it's casting, obviously that, that spell is going to fail. So there's a little tip for you. Um, the next big thing that you're going to get is you're going to get Blessing of Salvation at 26. So Blessing of Salvation is our ability that... Uh, reduces threat that people do. So I know Horde haven't had this before, but uh, Alliance have been raiding with this throughout Classic. Um, if it's a group that I don't know, generally every single person in the group gets Salvation um, until I'm more comfortable with how much damage they put out. When I know I can hold off them, hold off them easily um, or they're going to follow my, my kill targets, my Skull, my X, and then Blue Out is generally my third. Um, then, you know, I'll give them a Might um, or a Wisdom. Um, so Blessing of Sanctuary comes in at level 30. Blessing of Sanctuary is a talent. Um, it reduces the damage that we take from each target by a small amount and it increases, uh, it, ma it makes us deal holy damage when we block. So generally I will always have this on for trash. Um, and then when I get to bosses, Kings is usually a better choice if it's a single target boss. Um, before this, I would probably recommend that you use Wisdom. Um, if you're having any mana issues and if you need more single target threat kings, but wisdom's probably going to help the flow of the run um, more, more so than, than might is. Uh, the reason for that as well, um, our white damage doesn't have any sort of scaling on it. It's only one to one. Um, all of our threat generation comes from, um, from holy damage. Level 30 also unlocks seal of light, um, which is a nice little healing buff generally better in raids though um, so i wouldn't suggest using that the other ability that we're going to talk about really quickly is going to be your um, seal of the crusader so i'll just get a low rank of that we'll pop that on the bar so if you're using seal of the crusader on bosses it's still really important that you judge um, a seal of righteousness on the pool uh, the reason for that is seal of the crusader increases the threat that you're going to generate, but you're not going to do any threat on the pool by doing that. So judge into a an SOR and get Seal of Righteousness back up. And then right before this judgment comes off cooldown, this is how we do a boss, for instance, right? You want to Seal of the Crusader, judge that onto the mob, and then straight back into Seal of Righteousness. So basically every single swing that you're doing is going to have SOR on it, and we're just sneaking the Seal of the Crusader in right before the judgment comes up cooldown. Once it's on the boss, um, it's gonna stay on the boss. Every time you swing, your judgments get refreshed. Oh, where's he off to? He doesn't want anything of our... 
a holy smiting. But yeah, so that's that's how we're going to do that. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about? Lay on hands comes in at level 30. It's a really cool old shit button. Um, it's going to drain your mana though, so you need to think about that. Um, drains all your mana. I don't think it returns mana either. Uh, generally best uh, to be used when you'd otherwise expecting to be be wiping. The last thing you get as well, Divine Intervention. Divine in Intervention is a really cool ability that's going to put somebody in like stasis, it's going to hold them there, mobs will reset around them. So if you know you're wiping, use that on your healer so they can res. Um, if you are doing bosses as well, single target fight, um, Retribution Aura loses a lot of value. So consider switching to Devotion Aura. And if you're fighting against things with Shadow, you're going to get your Shadow Resistance Aura at level 28. So that's something else you can think about toggling onto. So I hope that covers the first 30 levels of tanking or 20 levels of tanking you're doing, depending when you're starting. Um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And I can definitely make a more um, high level stuff when you've got more, more tools and toolkit. Um, cool. Thanks. Thanks everyone. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.